friends, welcome to Raquel's plant-based channel. Uh, today I just want to give y'all a word of encouragement. I know this article encouraged me and I saw this at one of my local food stores and it's called Fork Over Knives. It's actually also a movie that's free on Netflix. So let, let's get started. Uh, his name is Howard Bielich. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, anyway, he wrote this article on his journey to whole, flip, whole food plant-based way of living. Before I went plant-based, my diet was always what I considered normal, with lots of cheese and meat. Some of my favorite foods included ham and cheese sandwiches, pulled pork, rotisserie chicken, salmon, eggs, and bacon. In 2017, I was caring for my wife, who has late-stage Alzheimer's. The stress and nonstop work involved took its toll on me. I ended up developing type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, neuropathy, atrial fibrillation, and unbelievable fatigue. I also gained an excess amount of weight. I quit weighing myself after I hit 276 pounds, so I don't know what my heaviest weight was, but my pant size reached 48. At that point, I was no longer physically able to take care of my wife on my own, so I placed her in a care facility about 30 miles away from my home. As I drove there each day to spend time with her, I was afraid of falling asleep at the wheel, so I drank copious amounts of coffee and chewed gum until my teeth, that's my bird, until my teeth were ready to fall out. At the facility, I noticed all the patients with amputated limbs resulting from diabetes. Fortunately, it was around this time that I happened to come across Fork Over Knives and saw that diet was the only real possible way to reverse type 2 diabetes. I decided to go 100% on the whole food, plant-based lifestyle. I researched everything I could find about diabetes and diet, and I found that excess fat, not sugar, is the actual cause of the disease. So I decided to be very strict about not letting any overt fats from oil or even high fat plants, nuts, and seeds into my diet. I think eggs and cheese were what I missed the most, but I got over those cravings in a month. I was amazed at how fast the weight started coming off, especially after eliminating oils and, and excess fats from my diet. Since making the switch, I've lost more than 110 pounds, much of it without any exercise. I was able to reverse my diabetes within just a few months of this diet. The neuropathy in my feet took more than a year to recede, but it is gone now as well. My blood pressure is normal, and so is my cholesterol. My last A1C reading, a measure of average blood sugar, was 4.7, well below the threshold for diabetes or even prediabetes. I had an ablation done for my atrial fibrillation, but I have had no problems since and I no longer have to worry about which pills to go into which section of the weekly pill box organizer because I'm off all medications. The only thing I take is vitamin B12. At 69 years old, I'm thinner than I was in high school. I used to absolutely hate shopping for clothes, but now it's actually fun. I never thought that I would be able to wear size 34 pants. People can't help but notice when you lose over 100 pounds and every so often someone asks what I've done. That's when I tell them my story and explain how a whole food plant-based diet can help them as well. I try to preach but, not to, but to lead by example. I'm fortunate that my daughter has adopted this way of eating too and she is a phenomenal cook. I love her beet burgers. A year into this new lifestyle, I began walking regularly for exercise. 
Later, I begin running. Today, I am biking, strength training, and weight training as well. With the newfound energy that my whole food plant-based diet has given me, I have no problem staying awake on that 30 mile drive to visit my wife. I haven't felt this healthy in a very long time. Howard Belich. How encouraging. That is awesome to know that just by changing what you eat can change your whole way of life. That to me is so encouraging and I hope it encourages you. Any questions, any recipes that you would like for me to make, please reach out. Like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And please ring the bell when you subscribe. Y'all take care. God bless. Bye-bye.